In this video, I'll show you how to automatically send WhatsApp messages from Notion. So as you all know, Notion is a web-based note-taking application where you can manage your project, manage your task, and in fact, maintain a database of customers. And in this video, we are going to integrate Notion and WhatsApp in such a way that every time I will add the details of customer, basically the name and number, a WhatsApp message will get sent automatically without doing anything manually. Yes. It is possible want to set this automation for yourself come with me and i'll show you the whole process step by step so here you can see I have created a page with the name all customer detail inside notion and as soon as I am going to add the details of the customer a message will get sent automatically just like this okay let me show you hey dummy customer the biggest travel sale is live now get up to 25% off on flights booking use code this hurry offer valid till 28th Feb only okay yes you can also send this kind of automated whatsapp message directly from notion for which which I'll have to build a connection in between Notion and in between WhatsApp application, which I'm actually using for sending the WhatsApp uh, messages, okay, which is Interact, okay. And I'm going to connect these applications with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect multiple applications and automate your task. And you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link into my description box. Now, if you are a new user of Pabli, connect you will have to sign up for free where you will also get free tasks that to every month in your account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation okay i am already an existing user of public connect so that is why i'm clicked on i have clicked on sign in and then i have clicked on public connect access now okay and this is how you will reach out to the dashboard of public connect and after reaching here firstly click on this blue button and simply provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i'm going to provide the name as when customer data is added in notion auto send okay send it should be something like send whatsapp message yes we are going to do exactly this auto send whatsapp message and i can keep this hyphen as an arrow okay now finally click on create and after that you will find two boxes in front of you so these are actually trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application send an email automatically via gmail application and according to our use case whenever customers details are added inside notion application automatically send a message via whatsapp application and here for sending the whatsapp messages i am going to use interact application which is an official api of whatsapp and i am going to do the setup of interact later firstly i am going to connect the notion with the pabli connect so that firstly we can capture all the customer details here inside pabli connect and then we are going to send the same details to different application or to interact application via pabli connect only and in the trigger event you will have to select this new database item okay now simply click on connect click on add new connection click on connect with notion and it will directly ask you the permission because i'm already logged in into my notion application okay and make sure that you also provide the access of that specific page in which you have the data of all the customers here you can see my page name is all customers detail and here it is provided basically it is tick marked okay click on allow access and this is how the authorization will be successful and your notion application will be connected with pabli connect now whatever the pages are available inside my notion application let me show you these pages are available are visible inside Pabli connect also since we have just connected since we have built a connection okay and I am going to select which particular page basically this all customer details okay so let me select the same and now as soon as I will click on this button you will see how these details will be fetched up automatically okay let me even show you right in front of you this amazing thing okay here you can see the response is received and it is the same phone number 
here you can see the whatsapp number now you must be thinking that it is a dummy number not the real one okay so currently in front of you i am using this dummy number but don't worry i will replace this number with the genuine number when i am about to send the actual messages here you can see customer basically customer is the second name la the last name of this page okay let me show you other details also one by one so here you can see dummy as the first name and yes we have the first name and this is how we have all the data inside public connect okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the first step of our automation which was connecting notion and public connect and capturing the data here is working absolutely fine now we are going to send the same data to interact application basically i am going to send a whatsapp message to this particular person on his number on his whatsapp number okay where is that whatsapp number here you can see and don't worry i will replace this num dummy number with the genuine one now how you can reach out to the interact application i'll show you okay but firstly in action event you'll have to search you'll have to select the send whatsapp template message and just like we have connected notion and public connect now we will also have to connect our interactive with public connect for which simply click on connect simply click on add new connection for which it will ask you a secret key okay so click on this hyperlink and since i'm already logged in into my interact application it will directly take me to that specific page where i can get this secret key okay i can actually copy this key and paste it here but currently i'm not going to copy a fresh key and will go with the new connection i will go with the existing connection but make sure if you are building the connection for the first time select this add a new connection provide the secret key click on save and this is how you will have to connect this application i am using this existing connection only okay and after the connection here you can see it is asking me for the following details so before we discuss these details let me first to show you how you can reach here okay so basically this is the interact application okay this is the page basically interact application and when you will see the sidebar the left sidebar you will find an option of the template firstly you will have to select that that template section and here you can see lot of template library are available okay this is the existing library basically the predefined templates and in this active section basically these are the same templates which i have created inside this interact application and lot of application are approved basically the templates marked with green color are the approved one the templates marked with the red color are the rejected one here you can even see any approved pending and rejected okay so this is how with the variation of color you can figure out which particular uh, templates are actually approved okay and for sending the uh, message like this travel okay let me show you for sending this kind of message i have created a very nice message template inside my interact application okay i can close this particular tab okay let me show you uh, let me search for that travel image basically the travel offer template here you can see the name of my template is travel offer created by and it is now approved okay and uh, if i will open this particular template you will be able to understand how you can also create a template okay so a button is already provided at the top right side you'll have to click on this green button okay and now you will have to provide the name to your template i have provided the name to your template i have provided the name to my template as travel offer okay before i discuss this template let me again take you to the public connect okay i can actually close this particular tab as well okay let me first take you to my template basically to my uh, public connect dashboard and here you can see it is going to ask you the template code name okay so that is why we are discussing about the template codes basically the message code okay so here you can see i have selected i have chosen in english as the language and in this header section it is completely up to you whether you would like to add any text any image any video or a document into my message i have attached this image inside the header of this whatsapp message okay so that is why in this particular section i have selected the image okay and here exactly finally you can compose your message okay so this is how you can use the emoticons you can use the you can basically write a content and whatever the things you want to keep on changing automatically you have to keep those things into the form of variable basically you'll have to uh, add a variable how you can add 
this variable basically the curly braces and this number when you will create a new template you will find a button of add variable here exactly currently we are actually into the view mode so that is why those options are not visible here but in the editing mode you will get lot of options of editing okay so in this particular message i just want that this name should be changed automatically okay so that is why i have kept it in the form of variable it is completely up to you whether you would like to attach any footer and buttons okay so i have added this particular thing uh, along with my photo okay so coming back to pabli connect and let's proceed one by one firstly it was asking it is asking for the country code the phone number and the full phone number so you must be thinking why we have two fields of phone number so i'll show you an interesting note that is important note it is mandatory to give a value for either full phone number or for both phone number and the country code okay so currently uh, i'll show you with an example currently the number which i have received via notion actually consists of the country code as well as the phone number in that case i am going to add my number into which particular field basically into this full phone number field but just in case if you have only number if you do not have the country code in that case you will have to provide the number here into this particular field and then you will have to provide the country code separately okay so that is why the two fields are available here but i am going to provide the number into this particular field and i don't even need to manually provide the number okay uh, because i want this number to be update automatically as soon as i am adding the new data here and how it can be performed it can be performed with the help of mapping basically we are going to map this data here basically add below step and which doesn't required any manual work simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here exactly simply select that particular data and this is how the value will be mapped asking for the template code name so you can get the template code name from the url also here you can see i have the template name as the travel offer all right and here also you can find the template code that is travel offer okay so i have copied the template code and you can even read the instruction for this asking for the language code okay so example that uh, the code for english will be en and the code for english us will be en and us okay so i have the code i have selected the language as english only so that is why you tell us what will be the code so of course it will be en only okay asking for the header value well this is something which is not going to change which i personally do not want to change so instead of mapping this value from anywhere i am going to provide this data manually basically i am going to provide an image url here manually and i have already prepared an image let me even show you that image basically the traveling image already here you can see this is the image which i would like to attach i am going to paste the image url here okay again uh, whatever the details i am providing here manually these details will remain same and whatever the details i am mapping here will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in the real time this is the difference in between mapping and in between providing the data manually and the most interesting part of this automation is providing the value to your variables okay so currently i just have a single variable only so i am going to provide the value for the single variable only and how you can do that so assume that you have two variables inside your template so you will have to first provide the value of this and you will have to simply put a comma and then you will have to provide the value of second value and do you need to provide a space also yes you need to provide a space also in between these two value values okay currently i just need to provide the name of the person and here in the place of one i want the name of the person so that is why i am going to map the name of the person so here we have the dummy i'll have to search for that okay i am going to search it and here we have the first name i am giving a space and then i am going to provide the last name which was i guess customer okay so i have provided the first name and last name just in case if i have more variables i can put a comma give a space and this is how i can provide the values okay currently i'll go with single uh, variable only basically single details only i think i have provided all the details i'll be clicking on this button finally save and send this request 
but before that i am going to remove i'm going to delete this existing message right in front of you so that i can show you how the messages will be arrived automatically okay coming back to public connect and here i am going to also replace this dummy number with the genuine one and currently i am going to add this number manually but make sure if you want this automation to work automatically you will have to provide this number uh, with the help of mapping okay so let me replace this number with my genuine whatsapp number all right so i have provided my number clicking on this button save and send test request and let me wait for that message to arrive and here you can see the response is also received and the message is also arrived and it is the same message hey dummy customer and here you can see that variable has been replaced with the name of the customer the biggest travel sale is now live get up to 25 percent off on all flight bookings use code this hurry offer valid till 28 feb only okay so this is how now onwards every time you are going to add the new details here firstly pably connect will capture those details inside the uh, here inside the dashboard of pably connect that to in every eight hour now why in every eight hours because this trigger of notion will check for the new data in every eight hours but do not worry about that okay your automation will definitely definitely proceed automatically only but it will proceed in in every eight hours so just in case the messages are not getting sent in real time don't worry just wait patiently okay so uh, this is how firstly as soon as you're going to add the details Pably connect will capture all the details here and then it will send the data to interact in order to send the whatsapp messages and for this you need to create this automation just once inside Pably connect after that simply close Pably connect sit back and relax because Pably connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually just in case if you want to access this automation inside your public connect account which i have created in front of you i will also attach the shareable link of my workflow into my description box simply click on this link and sign up into the public connect and the same workflow you will be able to access into your public connect account not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pably Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pably.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pably Connect. And for the latest updates of Pably Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate made their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video